it comes to portals, is there such thing, really, is there such a thing as portals? Is there such a thing as gateways into other dimensions? Let's look at Genesis 28.11, starting there. And this is uh, Jacob going on a trip because he wasn't supposed to take a wife from the uh, daughters of um, Cain or Canaan, which uh, some believe are hybrid beings. But anyway, it says in uh, 28.11, And he lighted upon a certain place and tarried all night. Because the sun was set, and he took uh, the stones of the place and made them for pillows and laid down in that place to sleep. And he dreamed, and behold, a ladder set up on the earth, and the top of it reached to heaven. And behold, the angels of God ascending and descending on it. And behold, the Lord stood above it and said, I am the Lord God of Abraham, thy father, and the God of Isaac. The land whereupon, or whereon, thou liest, to thee I'll give thee and to thy seed. So let's skip on down. And we will look at what happened when he woke up. And Jacob awaked out of his sleep, and he said, Surely the Lord is in this place, and I knew it not. And then the next verse in Genesis twenty-eight, seventeen, he said, And he was afraid and said, How dreadful is this place! This is none other but the house of God, and this is the gate. Of heaven. Now when thinking about Jacob's ladder, the, the Bible says that it reached up to heaven. And when you kind of look at those words uh, in the Greek and what have you, you know, they mean basically what they say. They reached up into heaven. And the ladder was set up on the earth. And the earth was Eretz. So it was on dry land. And and basically it was reaching up to the heavens. And it was a gate. So here in uh, the Tower of Babel, it says the whole earth was of one language and one speech. And it came to pass as they journeyed from the east uh, that they found this uh, a plain in the land of Shinar and they dwelt there. And they said one to another, Go to let us make brick and burn them thoroughly, and make and, and they had uh, brick for stone and uh, s uh, and slime had they for mortar. So they basically were making bricks and what have you. Okay, and it said, and they said, go let us build us a city and a tower whose top may reach unto heaven. Now, this is the same language that we would see in Jacob's ladder. He saw a, uh, a ladder that reached unto heaven. So they're trying to uh, basically find this gateway or make a gateway in similar language to what uh, the, the uh, account there for Jacob's ladder is. Okay, let, they want to reach unto heaven, and let us make a name, lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. And the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men builded. And the Lord said, Behold, the people in one, or the people is one, and they have all one language, and this they begin to do, and now nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do. First of all, not only were they building this tower to reach to heaven, but it seems almost as if the Bible suggests that maybe they were going to be able to accomplish this thing 
and this is a theory, but maybe they knew of a portal that was in the land of Shinar. There is a lot of history in that land, the land of Sumer, the uh, ancient text uh, the, the ancient aliens always refer to with the Anunnaki and, and uh, the, all those kind of texts, they come from this same area. Is there a portal there? But anyway, God says, go let, or go to, let us go down, and therefore confuse their language, that they may be, or, or that they may not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from thence upon the face of the earth, and they left off to build the city. Therefore is the name of this place called Babel because the Lord did confuse the language of all the earth, and from thence did the Lord scatter them abroad upon the face of the earth. So, in a way, it looks kind of like that there was nothing that would be restrained from them. Like they were maybe going to be able to extend this tower up to a gateway, like it says in Jacob's Ladder story, that this is a gate. So, when we're thinking about this CERN thing, and being an area in which they used to worship Abaddon, are they building the biggest machine ever? to reach unto this other dimension, a gateway to the other side. Now the uh, book of Jasher talks about this story. And there was three groups of people. And these three groups of people basically all had a, a separate agenda. Some of them wanted to go up and kill God. Some of them wanted to just get up there and take over. Some of them, uh, you know, basically they were all wanting to reach up to heaven. In the story of Jasher, there was three groups, and all three of them were smote by God. And basically they were killed except for one group. It says they became as apes and elephants and it made me think about the darrow and bigfoot <laughs> i mean just because of the language of it maybe that's a crazy theory i don't know but it makes me wonder but at the end of it uh the bible says that or the uh, book of jasher says that god smote the tower basically and the top third was all that was going to be left because the ground opened up and swallowed the bottom third and God destroyed the middle third and then the top third basically fell to the ground and was left there. Now what is odd about this was that it the book of Jasher says that, that the top third was laying there on the ground and that was what was left. But the people that w had reported this in the book of Jasher said that it was a three-day journey to walk across this debris field. A three-day journey, basically in, uh, in, in biblical terms. A journey would be 20 to 25 miles for a day. So this thing was 60 to 75 miles for the top third of this thing. So how many miles would this have been to a, a kind of tower that would have been maybe 100 miles across? That's incredible. Huge. All the nations come together to build a tower that is 100 miles across depending on what kind of uh, slope they had on this thing, it's at least 60 to 75 miles, and I'm sure it wasn't built just straight up, so it was above 75 miles across on the, when it first started at, uh, for a foundation. 
And when they got up to the top of this thing, they shot arrows. One of these groups did. Then arrows even came down and it said that they had blood on the arrows. Like they had actually shot arrows in through this gateway, hit something, and the arrows came back down, falling upon them people, and had blood on them. Now, the book of Jasher is, is certainly an extra-biblical book, but some people seem to re have referred to it, or at least the book of Enoch. So, I don't know. Interesting to me, uh, I, when I looked at that story in Jasher, I thought it was interesting to the size and scope of the project. And then when we think about CERN, that all the nations are gathered together again to build the largest machine ever in the history of mankind. Are we repeating the Tower of Babel? Will the Lord God come down and say, look at this that they're doing again? Because our languages are not scrambled so much anymore, they're not babbled. We have brought all these different nations together and built the largest machine ever assembled. 27 miles around, 15 miles across. It is a, it's a huge machine. And when you turn it on, it makes a huge magnetic anomaly that would be so large that it could punch through the center of the earth. Some say it would definitely make a huge magnetic anomaly because it's a huge magnet. It's a 27 mile around magnet. So if this was to open up the pit where they used to worship Abaddon and it released this locust army, would this a magnetic anomaly open up a, a gateway that you could throw people into and this actually be the bottomless pit. There's been some scientists that look at this uh, idea and they say if you were to open up a portal and it did go to the center of the earth then you could basically throw something in there and when it got to the center of the earth the gravity would basically at that point equalize and it would be a pit without a bottom. Because once you fall to the middle of the earth, then gravity starts pulling the opposite direction and you have a pit that is bottomless. And the Lord said, Behold, the people is one and they have all one language and this they began to do, and now nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do. Subscribe, comment, like, and share these videos. Brent and Son signing out. God bless. See you on the next video.